Hello everyone, I'm Crydax, and welcome back to our Satisfactory 1.0 playthrough. Since the last episode, we did a lot more hard drive hunting and a lot more selecting of hard drive alternates, so we have quite a few um, selected now, I guess. There's no easy way to just see all of the alternates, we just have to select, you know, our items and you can see the alternates that we have. I've had to select some alternates I don't care about, like tempered copper ingot. I just, that's not something I'm going to do anytime soon. You know, a lot of them are things that you might use in the late game type things, but they're not like a strong recipe. However, we do have the important ones that we were wanting, which is, and I might want the other one for steel. What was the other one for steel pipes? Oh yeah, it was just iron ingots, just straight up. So that one's interesting, but, uh, the encased industrial pipe recipe I will be using. It makes them cheaper, um, a little bit cheaper in terms of steel and a little bit cheaper in terms of limestone. And then we can, now here's a question. Is it cheaper to use molded steel pipes for encased industrial pipes? I forget what we, what we mathed that one out to be. I think it might've been worth it. So just call it 30 and that's easier. So 30 to 20, or we have 30 to 30, but we used 18 concrete. So we used 18 concrete to make 10 pipes. Maybe I should make it that 20 to 20. Yeah, that's probably a better way to do it. So instead of 30, so I'm basically, using 10 less steel ingots to make 20 and then, then to make 20 I'm using 12 concrete so I'm basically just trading concrete for steel ingots one to one um, as far as rates it's actually a pretty good rate we're getting 50 from foundries rather than 20 from constructors and we just got a new hard drive what we get what we get Wet concrete is pretty decent, actually. It doubles your concrete production just by adding water. Definitely better than bio coal. Um, or should I rescan it? I'm gonna save that one for rescanning later when I unlock more stuff. Because I think I've unlocked what I want to unlock for now. Um, between the encased pipe one and the heavy modular frame one that we have, the heavy encased frames. I think we have what we need right now. And yeah, we need so many pipes for everything. So... I guess the question is, are we gonna run low on concrete or are we gonna run low on steel? I'm not sure. Because... We basically get to exchange, and I could use steeled frame. Then we need all kinds of steel. I'm almost scared to use steeled frame, even though I like it. I'm just not sure if we're gonna have enough pipes for all this. But let's let's uh, let's get working on it. Okay, so this is the reinforced plates. I'm gonna do two of these. Um, production blueprints. Assemblers. Okay. We're gonna do two of these. Line them up here. Um. Close our assemblers. Only. They're like basically touching. So like that. And then I should just be able to hook everything in. I'll copy settings paste oh, I can't run run across the tops paste 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 connect the power and then connect up the belts like so and that one goes to there and this one there's not really any room um, so I'll just go across. Okay, 
So we need the wire and we need the plates. And I already decided the plates. I'm not... Uh, I'm just going to bring them straight over. Like that. The wire I do use for other stuff. The wire's coming up. Wait, am I doing... I'm on the wrong... I'm on the wrong side. This needs to be going down like this. And then... Wire input... Here. And then... Be able to just... It up. Perfect. Splitter lines up. Um, that's all we need. I just noticed my inventory is a mess. Uh, that's because we grabbed so many things from our hunting. So let's go deal with our inventory. Oh, there's also an exciting thing that we're going to get to look at right now, y'all. We are going to go look at how many awesome coupons. I put all of those DNA capsules that we made from all that alien protein. And I put all of that into the awesome sink container. So we're going to go check on that. It's going to be, I'm going to guess 50, 50 coupons. Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh my God, 74 coupons. That is awesome. Now, let's also see... What's a stack of 50 HMFs get you? Oh, wow. Any modular frames get you a lot of points, too. Uh, what about some all-clads? All-clads do not get you very much. Uh, what about ECRs? ECRs get you a decent amount. Computers? Yep, computers get you a lot. Uh, anything else I want to sacrifice? I'm not going to give it any of my turbo motors or fused modular frames, though I know those are worth a lot. I'll give you some aluminum sheets. Yeah, those aren't worth a ton either. 76 coupons. Oh my goodness. Let's go on a shopping spree, y'all. Okay, what can we buy? Everything. Um, now, we can get... Packaged liquid biofuel. There, can't we get a hard drive or two? Am I making that up? I don't think I'm making that up. The golden nut. I can't wait to get that. A thousand coupons. I swear I could get a hard drive, and I saw it in here. And now it's not here anymore. Am I making that up? I wonder if it's only certain time. Oh, now something's in my eye. Wonderful. I wonder if it's only certain times that you can get a hard drive. That's weird. Um, but I'm going to add literally everything in architecture, everything in walls, all the foundations. Customizer paint styles. And that's 63. Coated concrete and grip metal. And there, I spent like almost all my points. Decoration and organization go hand in hand. Fix it HQ custodian, I always say. Use of these customizer features does not guarantee an aesthetically pleasing or user friendly factory. That's the part that requires knowledge and skill. All those swatches and materials. Okay, let me put away all this crap. I'll keep one stack of computers and frames. 
Might as well keep one stack of each of the things. Heat sinks is one we didn't have. We needed at a section. Um, and we didn't have enough. We needed like, what was it, 30 or so. Thirteen Mercer Spheres is not bad. I'm gonna trash some extra... Uh, rifle ammo. Alright. Inventory's looking a lot cleaner now. And then we need to make our power slug. Shards here. There's 60 more power shards. Not that I need them. But yeah, I, I'm going to just power shard up all the factories I'm making right now. I, I have enough power. You know, we did that 2.5 gigawatt power plant. Did I shred a coupon? I don't know if you can shred a coupon. I don't think you can. I put the rest of my coupons in a, in a little... Uh, in the box up by the... Hub. But yeah, it only uses 30% more power to make items with triple power shards. So I think I'm just gonna do that pretty much everywhere now. We have plenty. We have plenty. Alright. Yellow. Those five processed, and then the blue ones are almost not worth processing, but I will. Still a few more shards. And done. All right, finally the blue ones. Alright, sweet. So we have all the power shards, which is nice. I'm excited for Mark V belts. We'll be able to launch ourselves much faster. I tried the Pulse Nobelisks, by the way, that was in between episodes. Um, and I kind of like them, but they're kind of a pain to set up. So I do still like the belt launchers better. Um, I'm gonna just leave holes in the ceiling. Now that I have turbo fuel, we can get up and down way faster. So I just don't really need the hyper tubes. We can just turbo fuel boost ourselves up. And yeah. All right, so how many reinforced plates is this? A lot. I don't even really need to count. Um. Triple is too much. I'm gonna just double power shard these. And that will be enough for the entire belt of wire to be used. Which is probably too much. Now, reinforced plates are used in uh, a lot of equipment. But as far as actual products, they're only used in crystal oscillators, smart plating, and modular frames. So I think for now, I'm not gonna put it on the bus. Uh, maybe I should kind of like do a splitter so I could bring it over the bus like later but for now I'm just gonna head these straight over to the modular frame factory which is then again going to be assemblers x3 mark 4 perfect I think two of these blueprints should be fine H. Right, nudge. Do we need to nudge it at all? 
no? Yes. Yeah. Edge it together a bit. Chunk. And then we can delete those input. And then we are going to use the one that uses way less reinforced plates, but it uses more steel. We may end up regretting that uh, to be determined. 25 steel pipes each, huh? All right, uh, steel pipes. How are we going to do that? I think steel pipes, I will do... Mm, do I want to do the one that uses concrete? Or not? Molded steel pipes, or just regular? This could also be one I see myself summer slooping. And if I do that, the foundries are the better choice. Because they make more per minute. Uh, foundries need two sloops, but they make more than double per minute of their constructors. Hmm. I think I'll just do the constructor's version. I might regret that. I'm not sure. Constructor X. Yeah, that was my example. Um, where am I looking? Constructor's X8. So I want it to be in line with these, but above these. Or not above. Above is not the word I was trying to say. Uh, why is the line disappearing? What's going on here? There we go. More just like spaced out so I have room for extra belts. Like one foundation of space. Oh, it's rotated wrong. Oops. So yeah, I want to do that, and then I'm just going to stack and go up. We'll go up two. Oh, no, I, I need to go up two, so. This. Can it go up that steep? No. I guess I'd clip through these. I guess I need to just bring them both to that height, and that should go above it all. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Except these are sideways. I need to build those over by one. Right, they're not overlapping, but they're kind of overlapping. The belts end up not clipping into each other, so it's fine. And then I need to build and connect onto you guys. Okay. 
Bada bing. Bada boom. Okay, perfect. So then our connect up to there. You guys are going to be steel pipes. Uh, with all of the power shards, as we've discussed. I mean, I do need to be a little careful with this, because this is sucking up. That's too much, right? 60 times 8 is 480, so that right there is the full belt of steel ingots. So until I have faster belts, I can't even use more power shards. And 8 times 3 is 24 power shards. That is going to add up pretty quick if I start blowing 24 power shards everywhere. I should probably use power shards a little more sparingly than this. Like, I should probably just copy this build twice. But whatever. Would there even be room? There would probably be room for copying that again. Alright, so then I need to bring in steel ingots on this belt. Um, right here. Um, and this is one of those cases where I'm fine splitting right here. Okay, is that the output? Yeah, yeah, that's steel. steel out and that needs to come to which side this side players in the way yes I guess I am um, that's not gonna work because that's crossing over and then that'll get in the way in the way of the output Maybe I have to go above for the output. And that might not be good, but if I... Uh, let's see, what if I do this? I go up like that first. We should stay above. Yeah, that'll do it. Nice and straight. Alright, so then steel connects over to here, steel pipes coming out, here, and then those are going to need to come over, and we'll load those up onto some, I don't know which one yet. I wonder what the S bend, the S curve distance is. Okay. So we can do an S bend in fairly short distance, but can it come down that far? I don't think so. Okay, so now we need to load these onto the bus. Where am I going to put them? Steel pipes. Uh, what is this? Oh, that was iron plates, I think. And then I decided... What is this? Well, that's wire. Okay. Why is wire so slow? Didn't I build a million of these? 
guess I only built four. Well, all right, eight. So I am only getting 45, 90, 180 wire. Okay, I definitely need more than that. Um, good news is this is very easy to copy because of blueprints. You know, it's hard to imagine doing all of this without blueprints. Like, we used to play that way. Can you, can you believe it? Can you believe it? Because I really can't. Um, that was horrible. So glad we do not need to do that anymore. Copy, paste, 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 and paste. Two, three, four, power. Or no, this one, connect to that one. Now these are all powered up. And then we connect this guy. And that guy. And there we have it. Iron wire. Even more. Uh oh, now we're out of iron ingots. Probably because we're out of iron ore. I haven't. I don't think we have a full. Yeah, we don't have a full belt coming in in the first place. So that's obviously problematic. Um, we'll fix that in a minute. For now, I need to figure out what's on this belt. Nothing. That's gonna be steel pipe. It was iron plate, but then I determined I don't really need iron plates on this. So, so steel pipe can go on that second layer. Um, where are the steel pipes? They're over here. That second layer doesn't even exist yet back here. I need my flashlight. Order. Uh, merger. Ah. Is that in line with this? Can't tell. I think it is. Straight lines. Beautiful. Whoa. And then there's steel pipes. Nice. And we gotta bring over the other belts, like concrete and whatnot. Concretes. Let's just do one level at a time, otherwise I'll get lost. I wish I had the hover pack. Next tier, we'll get it. Well, I guess it's tier seven and eight. Next phase, more so than next tier. All right, so there's that. What was this? This was modular frames which needed rips and steel pipes. Right. So we decided that we're doing that with the rips and then the steel pipes. You know, I might be able to just connect power across. No. Will that clip? Uh, no? Maybe? We'll just do floor power. Floor power is best power. Alright, and then modular frames are getting reinforced plates, and then we need to bring in the steel pipes. So 
we'll build that connected to here. And then steel pipes. Oh, I didn't mean to. Um. I'm in line with it. I build one there, then that makes this snapping work, and then I go nine or four. I should be able to get that the correct level. It'll be flat. And then that connects up there. And there we go. Modular frames. Now this is one that I could see myself summer slooping at some point. But we're definitely going to summer sloop the heavy modular frames first. And if we have enough sloops, we could end up coming back and doing this. Um, that reminds me, let's go collect all of the sloops that are currently basically doing nothing. Um, require Satter and Tempered Caterium Ingot. I could see the Tempered Caterium Ingot being useful. Um, because you're basically turning two Petroleum Coke which is a tiny amount of heavy oil residue into a whole Caterium ingot. So that could be useful. I could see that being useful. I'm not going to select it yet, but... I could see that being a thing. Alright, now what all am I using sloops for? Do I even remember? Am I using sloops in this constructor over here? That's making... Awakened, what is it, reanimated, Sam? I'm not slooping that, okay, I couldn't remember. Have I researched everything from tier five and six? Uh, no, not everything from tier six. I have researched everything from tier five. All right, and I am slooping then over here, right? No? Thought I was. I'm getting all my factory buildings mixed up. I might be on the second floor. I don't think I'm slooping anything on this floor. What about the second floor? Yeah, here's where. Am I, yep, I'm slooping steel beams. I don't need to be doing that anymore, at least. And I might have been slooping just steel, too. Yep, slooping steel. Don't need to do that. And I definitely was slooping... Oh, Bay caught me slooping! <laughs> uh, slooping versatile framework, and we were slooping modular frames over here. And I might have been slooping the rips. Nope. Not slooping the rips. Alright. Uh, was I slooping anything else? You know, I guess I could find out by just doing this. Because I think the sloop would show up in the dismantle. Uh, yeah, it would. Okay. So that's an easier way to check for sloopage. Now we go to the other building. Was I slooping anything over here? Mm, this was quartz. I was not. That's where quick wire is being made currently. Uh, does not look like I was slooping nothing. I might be slooping the EIBs though. No? Looks like I'm actually making encased industrial beams like, like any old regular factory fix it pioneer would. Okay. Fair and square. So is that all the sloops I have? 13? That can't be right. There's gotta be something else I'm slooping. Am I slooping anything down here? Uh, doesn't look like it. I guess we've got three more over here, the AI limiters. Hmm. Yeah. Fifteen sloops, that's it. That's all we got. My net worth. My net worth in sloops is fifteen. I thought it was more than that. I, f I felt like we were closer to, like, twenty, but I guess, I guess not. 
There might be another thing or two. I still have slooped and I haven't found it. Oh, like any of the fuel stuff? Did I sloop some of the fuel stuff? Or the, oh, the black powder stuff on top here. I think I'm slooping something up here. Yeah, there's two sloops. I don't need those there anymore. We've got plenty of packaged turbo fuel for quite a while. Um, and we have plenty of cluster nobelisks. Again, that's why I did this, is I'll be able to just deconstruct all this. And like, I'm not gonna use that many cluster nobelisks for a long time. So I can just not produce them anymore, is my thought. Um, and we also have enough smokeless powder here to last a while, even if we need some handcrafting. So yeah. Okay, so there's two more sloops in here, and that's all the sloops. 21. Okay, that's a little bit more like what I thought we had. How is it possible I have so much free time? Um, well, I'm I'm at work right now. I, I'm a full-time content creator, so this isn't free time. If you think about it, this is work time. Alright, so we got the sloops back. Now, I forget why I did all that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I know we need the manufacturers. Um... The modular frame. So I, I've got steel pipes. I've got modular frames. So now I need encased beams. It should be pretty easy. We already have the steel pipe and the concrete. Um. Like everything's working. Okay. So let's get encased industrial beams set up. <sighs> and what's the rate on our heavy modular frame? Those are 2.8 a minute, which requires nine encased beams a minute. I'm certainly going to sloop this. Um, and encased beams make four a minute. This one's a little slower. I will power shard this. So that'll be ten a minute. Okay. So I think one set of assemblers for that would be good. Perfect. And then we just need the concrete, which is up here. I am going to have to get rid of this launcher. And instead of a launcher coming out the window here, we're going to have all of our we're gonna have our bus come out and go up to the second floor outdoors, because I think that'll look cool. So, yeah, I guess I'll just do this here. It does mean we're gonna have to remove the sign. How many? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the concrete one. All right, and then the steel pipe one is the second. Did that curve? No, that's a straight line. Okay. Alright, so that should get us our encased industrial pipes. Need 
to bring them both to here. No, that is going down. I did that wrong. That's the first level, so that's the second level. Yeah, there we go. Alright, anywho. Um, splitter. You go down to beep, beep. No. That level's fine. And then that level will go to there and need modular flams. Um, and modular fr no, wait, not modular frames. What am I talking about? Concrete. Concrete is what we need. Uh, which comes from up here. Which, I think I can put a splitter on the end of that, and then these will line up? No? What if I stack the entire? There we go. And I can come down. Connect. There we go. Check out what we got in the ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Not so thank you. I don't want any of those. That's fine. Right now we're just building up a, a log. I'll probably save five until we get to higher tiers so we can roll the higher recipes. And then I'll keep those five that I can rescan. And then when you rescan, you get all the potentially new ones as well. But that's 50 minutes that we've kind of got preemptively done. All right. Floor power. Oops. Uh, I'm hitting the, the two key on my keyboard right now. Notice it's literally doing nothing. Uh, my hotbar's broken. What the heck? I've never had this happen. Uh, I can't select. There we go. That was weird. None of the number keys were doing anything. Never had that happen before. Uh, okay, so powered up. Encased beams are being made. I need to go get some more iron before that drives me crazy how slow it's going. Let us go fetch some iron. Iron's coming in here. Oh, I see the problem. Couple problems intact. That should help. There we go. So that's 150 a minute, and that's another 150 a minute. So that's at least 300 a minute right there. So these will empty out, but. That's a lot better. All right, so that's all built. Now that stuff's running a bit faster. And we got concrete flowing in here, encased beams coming out. All right, perfect. So now we have to work hard at this nonsense. Um. We don't want inverted ramps right here, because we're going to have to go a little further out. Yeah, this is going to be a pain in the butt. Mark my words. Seven... Wait, that is the spacing, right? That I've been having the whole time? Yes. Okay. Yeah, 
Yes, it is. So... First thing to do is connect the... Oh, no. I just realized a big problem. Ooh, that's a big problem. The middle ones are going to be fighting for conveyor lift space. Because eventually my plan was to have another one over here. Maybe I just won't do that. Maybe I just don't need that on this floor. Maybe I should build this to be a blueprint. That's my thought. That will save me some time. Um, yeah, we're going to blueprint this because we're going to want one version with splitters, one version with mergers, and it's just going to be a pain to not be blueprinted. I, you know, oh, there's no roof on this factory. That was weird. I thought there was, and I thought the game was glitching for a second. I was like, I can see through the floor, and that's just because there is no floor. There is no cow level. I can just build the blueprint designer over here, you know. I don't know why my brain is so locked into having it in one place. Um, however... Aren't we really close to the Blueprint Designer Mark II? I do want to go look at that real quick. I do want to go look at that. Oh. Oh, goodness. I'm regretting a lot of my factory designs at this point. But yeah, isn't the... Yeah, Mark II's right here. And I have what I need. Need rubber. I need more concrete. I need another 50. This is where hard drive hunting is nice, because I can do this before I've automated those things. And I do need more concrete, which is going a little slow. So this is going to be Mark II uh, Blueprints. Junk. And Monster I need 20 reached. computers. The Blueprint Mark II improves upon the Mark I in every and dimension, HMS. except for the metaphysical ones. <laughs> this improvement was made available due to complaints from pioneers about <laughs> other pioneers not being capable of managing their space efficiently. That's hilarious. We listen to pioneers always. Oh my gosh, I love the meta jokes. Do made due to complaints about other pioneers not being able to manage their space effectively. Wow, that's a lot more space. I mean look at the look at the comparison. Five by five by five compared to four by four by four. It's a lot bigger. Still not that long, you know, is the, the main issue right here, but that's okay. We can utilize as much space as we can. So seven. And then maybe I should have them next to each other like this. I just don't like that you can't walk in between those two, but is that really that important? Hmm. I don't know. Come this far. Alright. So what I'm thinking is like the problem is if I'm using vertical conveyors, these two are sharing this middle space is the problem. So I'm not really sure how that's gonna go, but maybe we'll have enough space to separate it all out. Oh, wait, I didn't space out. 
Yeah. This is too close. I just did the same problem. Needs to be there. Dismantle. Thank you. Hold up. Seven. it's counting all of that yes it is okay so then all the belts need to get connected up this is gonna take a minute I like to have that headroom, it just looks nicer to me. How long are these? They're 20? Okay. That's a decent percentage of max length. I think 30 is max belt length, right? Uh, max belt length is 28, even. So... And when I say 28, that's not 28 meters, that's 28 actual resource units spent to build. So this is a decent percentage of the max distance that we're getting going here. Also, the MAM just finished, so I should check that. Steel canister and quick back cable. Yay, more terrible ones! You know, the funny part is we're going to see more and more of the terrible ones the more we research, because we've gotten rid of all the good ones. I'm probably going to wait until I unlock more to research the other five that I have. And I'm hoping by the time I need more hard drives that Coffee Stain will have updated the game and the hard drive scanner won't be broken anymore. That's my hope. Oh, I'm out of EIBs. Wow. Okay. So now it's time to see if I can fit the amount of splitters we need. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Crap, we need 12. There's 12 belts here. Um, I may have to overlap a little bit more. In fact, they can overlap a little bit more. If I build two like this, if I had another belt exactly halfway in between those, would that really be that bad? Um. Uh, No, it doesn't clip at all, actually. Well, it might clip a smidgen. You should be okay. Whoa, I have a lot of new ramps. Holy moly. Uh, yeah, when we spent 8,000 fix-it coupons, I guess that counts for something. All right. Uh, anyway, so we keep working on this. We should have enough now. All right, now before I connect anything, I think I just want to. Um, I think I just want to save this as a blueprint. So I'm going to call it bus, uh, what is this, Seven, 6x4, mark 4, belt bus 6x4, mark 4, 
directory. We need a new subcategory called belts. Add blueprint here. Apply changes, save blueprint. Okay, so we've got that. And now we want to do the version with splitters coming off of each of them, which I realize is pure insanity. Um, one, two. How do I do this? Oh God. Um, Okay. So if I clip these in, how do I get it so there's 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's actually perfect. I think that's even the spacing we started with at the beginning. Eh, we have one more space on the end than the beginning. That's fine. Okay, so this is going to go every other on the odds. We have to stack these for them to, to snap onto the belt properly. Uh, that. And then like this, but I need to stack these. This is... <laughs> this is a big project. Alright, and then go up. Top one, snaps, perfect. Okay. Now, with any luck, the other ones will snap too, uh, even though they're a little bit further away. Yep, yep. All right, see you later, Jacob. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. Not bad. And then these ones will snap on the evens. Um, right here. So then these ones need to snap starting on the first one. Look at all the arrows. This is chaos. Um, total chaos. Okay. And then you snap up there. Okay, if we did that right, those should be alternated, not in the same spots. Perfect. As we go down, again, we want them to be alternated. This, that, and like that. So now, when we go up with vertical lifts, they will stagger in the middle here. Woohoo! That feels good. All right. Uh, shoot. Here. I'm going to save this as scaffolding, scaffold, um, splitter, splitter, oh, they don't give you that many letters, they should give you more letters, that's a silly limit, come on, give us more letters, um, call it scaff, save it, and then I can load it back in to do the merger version, so I'll have these already built. I don't want to have to rebuild these. That's why I'm doing that. Okay. Construct these little towers of uselessness, and there we go. Now we got splitters all over the place. 
Heck, I might just use this version all along the base because then I can easily get things off the bus. Um, and then I just need to exchange it for a merger when we want to put stuff on the bus. Seems like that might be pretty good. Set directory. Right there, save blueprint. So now we load blueprint. We load the scaffold one. And now, do I have to clear it first? Load uh, that one. And now we have to change. Well, that takes a hot minute. Filled all the belt segments. Going very quickly. There it goes. All right. Um, okay, so now we need to change all of these into mergers. NBD. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, merge, 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 and the last one, merge. All right, this isn't too bad. So then, basically I'll be able to place one blueprint underneath the other one, and we'll just be able to directly lift one to the next. So all, all I will have to do, uh oh, this up. all I will have to do once um, I'm finished with these blueprints is paste one, paste the other one above it, directly above it, and then all we have to do is connect 24 lifts. And now we're good. So it's actually not that terrible of a project. D6, D6. All right, and then mergers. These ones are offset. Match this side. Don't line up with anything. Mm -hmm. Right there. Right there. Right there. And right there. And finally, the top layer. There and there. Everything is snapped. Good from an aerial view. Um, these are staggered properly. Nice. All right, that's something I'm proud of. I am happy with that. Construct the scaffolding. Sweet. All right, and then we save this guy as Mark IV Merger. Save blueprint. Now, that requires a crap ton of encased beams. So I need to be, um, you know, grabbing some from the depot once in a while so that we don't end up running out and yeah we'll deconstruct this whole factory that's just that was just temporary to get a bunch of cluster obelisks and rifle ammo into our world and yeah now i can deconstruct all of this now i have a blueprint for it Go 
ahead and grab that splitter version. Oh my. Oh, that's the scaffolding version. Down here. So. Go right here. Yeah. Wow, big. All right, we'll have to build a support for this little outcrop. Um, probably just a pillar here. Maybe two pillars would look good. Uh, architecture. Eat all these little new things. I know they're new. Go away. All right, big pillar support. Or should we do small pillars? Maybe this one is a small pillar kind of project. Yeah, that feels very correct. I like that. All right, uh, anyway, now I should be able to build this one. All right, go in the right direction. Yep, it is aligned properly. Uh oh, it's doing the thing again. Ah, oh, why does it? This is twice now, left and right, and forward and backward, or up and down, I should say, on the keyboard, are doing the exact same thing. Uh, some sort of glitch. I don't know why it happens, but it does, and it's very odd. Left, right, forward and backward. Now they're working. I don't know what uh, what causes that. But yeah, I'm wondering if I can place it here. I was just seeing like, are these outside enough? And they are. So I do think that means I'm gonna deconstruct these as well. Because otherwise they'll overlap. And the game isn't quite yet smart enough to when blueprints have two things that are overlapping in exactly the same spot to not build it. It'll actually build them overlapping. So there'll be two in the same spot and that's very annoying. Um, Probably actually build a pillar there. Be the top. And then we'll need to paint it properly, of course. Yes, 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 yes. And put the connectors on the end. Get me swatch 18 is the one that these all are. There we go. Cool. All right, let's build our gigantic 6x4 Mark IV splitter. Absolutely gigantic. All right. And that is where I want it, I think. And I'm gonna just deconstruct this last row of it. <laughs> it's all the floating stuff. There we go. There we go. All right. Sweet. Okay. Wow. And then... Uh, we'll need floor holes. 
for all the lifts. I just realized that. That's a pain in the butt. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. Isn't it? Isn't that the biggest pain? Um. Hmm. But what else can we do? So yeah, up here I'll build the merger version. I probably don't have enough encased beams. Ah, uh, maybe I do. Those are filling up pretty fast, actually. Blueprint, merger. Line up in the same order. So that way the bottom ones will attach to the bottom ones. Uh, I am missing about 50 beams, okay. Should go right here. All right, I need thirty more beams. Twenty four. Go for a nice little slide. Oh, I love the turbo fuel jetpack. It's so nice. I can't wait to see what rocket fuel is like. Um, I'm not gonna be able to get that for a little while till the next phase, but that's pretty sweet. All right, come on now. Come on now, one more. Boom. So we should just be able to connect these guys. Yeah. I'll need a lot more encased industrial beams, of course. And then these ones, we should be able to floor hole. Um, we'll have to figure out the pattern here, but they should. Yeah, they should all just connect. Okay, there's gonna be one tile away. Two tiles away. Yeah, so it's kind of like a uh, night. Is that still right? I don't know, that, that one goes to this one. Yeah? Seems to be working. Okay, basically, yeah, each one is two away from the previous one. And the other one is like in the middle of those two. Interesting. Well, I think that's the last one. Yeah. So, come down. And then we should be able to bring the other ones up. This is gonna be so cool once items are flowing up these. Oh my goodness. That'll be super neat. Yikes. Wow, I wonder how many uh, industrial beams I've used in the last half hour. This is cool. All right, I'm happy we went with this. It's a big pain in the butt, but it's a really cool pain in the butt. I must say. Um, I do need to deconstruct these guys, though. Try to get as much as I can in one go. That was pretty good, actually. Got all those. These ones will all be on the outside, so they, they can just go all the way up. Really. So that, my friends, is how you vertical 18 belts. 
without messing with the orientation of any of them. Good gracious. Oh no. You guys didn't see anything. They're all backwards. I built it backwards. Oh no. Is it fast? I think it's just faster to switch the direction on all the belts manually. Like this. Um. Oh, I can't. The, they're mergers. Frick. Oh, well, that's a bummer. All right, well, we're gonna we're gonna call that a YouTube episode for you future YouTubians. You guys get the idea. I'm gonna rebuild that between episodes. And then I'll probably deconstruct all this and get this ready so that this is an open factory floor for us. I guess we need to fill in the rest of the floor over here. And yeah, this is where we're gonna be doing our manufacturing of more modern components. And if I need more of the old stuff, I know there's still quite a few things we haven't automated of, um, you know, basic quartz stuff, uh, rotors and motors and all that. I'm gonna do that down here as well. We've got plenty of room still to use back here. So I'll use the verticality. We got plenty of space. We can use ceiling mounts for the conveyors. I can use all this space out here. So we're still gonna use the space on the first floor for a lot of the older components. And we'll fill it up. Um, I should probably put a catwalk in here now that there's way more uh, buildings catwalk could be in order but yeah we'll call that an episode um i feel like i'm really happy with the base i've never quite built this organized before and i'm enjoying it it's a lot slower i mean in my last playthrough i was already done at this point i think when i played this many hours uh, and i already got into nuclear power and drones and all that so it is a lot slower to play like this but i'm enjoying it a lot uh so yeah with that, we'll call it the end of the episode. If you'd like to support me making these videos, please head over to patreon.com slash crydax. And for those of you on future YouTube, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. If you're here live, stick around. I'm still going to be streaming for a bit. So I'll see you all in the next episode.